Miss Peterson, and welcome to our first Telling Time lesson. Yay! So I know we've been doing um, Telling Time on our morning mark all year. That was first grade review. So in first grade, you should have learned Telling Time to the nearest hour and half hour. And now in second grade, we are adding on Telling Time to the nearest five minutes. And that's actually our success criteria today, which means our end goal. So... Our success criteria is, I'm going to use one of my windmills and add an extra, is I can tell time to the nearest five minutes. Your turn. Very good. And our success criteria, that means our steps that we're going to take to reach our goal is, I am successful in, I identified the hour by looking at the shorter hand first, and I identify the minute. I am looking at the longer hand seconds. And I've talked to you guys about this many times. Just to remind you, the hour hand is the shorter hand, the red one right there. You always, always, always look at the hour hand first. That's how you tell what hour it is, whatever number it's closest to. And the minute hand is the one you look at second. It's the longer one. And remember, to find the minutes, we skip count by fives. So, before you watch this, you should have watched the Telling Time video. I put the song. I put a link for your, so you can click on if your parents help you find that. So first, everyone. Oh, also, you should have made your clock. If you didn't make your paper clock, pause the video now and go make your clock. This was in the file of work to print out. If you don't have a printer, it's okay. You can, I sent your parents a link of how you can also make a clock from a paper plate. And if you don't have a paper plate, it's still okay. You can literally just draw a clock on a piece of paper and follow along or just follow along and do it with us just singing the song. You're still going to be learning. So if you didn't make this, pause the video now and make this. If you did, you're good to go. So this is what your clock should look like when we, we're going to do the sing the song together and you're going to follow along on your clock. So you should have printed out both pieces of paper. On the front, there's the hour hand, the shorter one, which we went over, and the longer minute hand. Then you cut on the dotted lines. Under each number, you put what number you skip counted by. To find out the minutes. So under the one, there's a five. Because we always start at the one. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and go on from there. Do the whole clock. So if you haven't watched made this or watched the song, go do that. If if you did, we're moving on. So hold your clock with me and we're gonna practice the singing the clock song together. So it goes like this. Oh, and I'm using this clock because it has a handy dandy numbers. You skip count by on the sides. So here we go. When the big hand's at the top, we know it's, oh, look at the hour hand, the shorter red one. We know it's five o'clock. When the big hand's at the the three, we know it's 5.15. When the big hand's going down and it's pointing down, it's half past five o'clock. It's 5.30. When the big hand's at the nine, we know it's 5.45. When the big hand's going up, and it's pointing all the way up, and it's going all the way around the clock. That means a whole hour has passed when the big hand's going up, and it's pointing up. It's now the next hour. It's now six o'clock. Okay, so now we're going to practice doing it. Let's, I got it. It won't let me move our hand. It must have gone like this. With a new time. So first, let's go over why. Why was it 15? Why was it half past? Why was it 45? 
because you skipped count five, fives to find out the minutes. So five, six, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Instead of saying 60, the 60 is here just to show you. Instead of saying 60, you just say the next hour. That means a whole hour has passed because there's 60 minutes and an hour. Okay? So it's the next time. So this time, on your paper clock, carefully, I know it's hard because it's made out of paper. Carefully move your hour hands to the nine and move your longer minute hand to the 12. That means oh clock. And let's get started doing the song again. We're going to do the song two more times with your clock and then the video will be over and then you can practice more on your clock. And then, you, of course, you do the worksheet that was for today, Monday. Okay. Here we go. Sing with me. When the big hand's at the top, we know it's nine o'clock. When the big hand's at the three, we know it's nine fifteen. When the big hand's going down and it's pointing straight down, it's half past nine o'clock. It's nine thirty. When the big hands go, oh, when the big hands at the nine, we know it's 9.45. When the big hands pointing up and it's all the way up, it's now 10 o'clock. It's the next hour. So I love this song because it helps you remember not only which hand is the hour hand, which hand is the minute hand. Also, it helps you remember that you need to skip count by fives and all the important times you need to know in second grade. You need to know all of the skip counting by fives. I mean, telling time to the nearest five minutes. That's what that means. Okay, let's do another one. Everyone, on your paper clocks, put your short hour hand at the one. See Ms. Peterson's? Put your long minute hand at the 12. That means this is what you learned in first grade. One o'clock, but now we're going to do one o'clock with the song. So we're all starting. Start on your paper clocks. Start your paper clocks at one o'clock. Your clock should look like mine. I'll give you a little bit of time to set it up and pause if we're not ready by the time we start the song. And here we go. When the big hand's at the top, we know it's one o'clock. When the big hand's at the three, we know it's one. 15. When the big hand's going down and it's pointing straight down, it's half past one o'clock. It's 1.30. When the big hand's at the nine, we know it's 1.45. When the big hand's going up and it's pointing all the way up, it's pointing up. It's now, it's the next hour. What is it, class? It's two o'clock, okay? So, right now, um, pop, you can turn off the video once it's over. I'm going to end it, and I want you to practice the song a couple more times all by yourself on your paper clock or your paper plate clock or the clock you drew on a piece of paper or just practice singing the song, again, with the video. If you don't have a clock, it's okay. Then after you sing the song a couple more times by yourself, do the worksheet for today, the cut and glue with the times, and then I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's telling time lesson. Unless you want to do extra practice on your clock by yourself, sing the song even more than a couple more times, you do you if you want to. So that's all I have for today's Monday telling time lesson. I hope you like the song, and I'll see you tomorrow.